you are gonna love giving away these DIY gift baskets. Hey there, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. Gift baskets are one of my favorite gifts to give people. I think the reason why I love them so much is it's so much fun finding all of these little items and curating them to match your recipient exactly. I feel like it's a way to show someone you really know them and really care. So today I am going to share with you six easy DIY gift basket ideas you can give for Christmas, you can give them as thank you gifts, birthday gifts. You're gonna find something for everybody on your list. I'm also gonna share with you some really easy tips to keep in mind when creating your DIY gift baskets to make them look high end, even if you're using dollar store items. So let's get started. The first thing I like to keep in mind when making gift baskets is I like to think about a theme and then I also want to think about a color scheme. And I think if you are searching for items that are within the same theme and also keeping in mind a similar color scheme, that's going to instantly elevate the look of your gift basket. So for example, with this pancake themed gift basket, my theme obviously is pancake breakfast and I'm keeping things in this pink and mint green color scheme. If you can't find all of your packaging in that same color scheme, you can repackage it into upcycled mason jars with colored lids, for example, or you can just incorporate the colors with little embellishments like ribbon and gift tags. After you watch this video, make sure to head on over to my blog post at the DIYMommy.com. I'll link it down in the description box below and I have a whole bunch of free printables for gift baskets, for gift tags. As far as what to put in each of these baskets, that's really up to you. So another thing that I love about DIY gift baskets is that you can set really any budget you want. You can set a lower budget and get all of your items from somewhere like the dollar store or set a higher budget and include some more boutique items as well. Place as little as three items in the basket or up to 20. That's also completely up to you. Another tip when creating your basket is to think outside the box or the basket in this case and think about different containers that you can use to make your DIY gift basket stand out. So for example, let's go back to this pancake themed one. I'm using a beautiful mixing bowl as my basket. I also have this DIY mold wine mix kit here. I'm using a pitcher that the recipient can actually use for this gift. Now let's get into the six different basket ideas. You can copy these exactly or use them as a jumping off point to create your completely unique basket. Let's begin with this pancake breakfast kit themed gift basket. I love this one. It's probably my favorite one. I'm grabbing this beautiful mixing bowl. You can grab any sort of bowl for this gift basket and you can find this free printable label on my blog. I will link it down in the description box below. I always love to start with some nice basket filler. I'm using this recyclable stuff from Michaels and then I'm adding some pancake mix. This is just from Dollarama, the dollar store here in Canada and so is this pink dish towel and this pink themed oven mitt as well. I also got these beautiful pink mixing spoons and pancake flipper from Amazon. I will also link that down in the description box below. So once you have gathered all of your items, just place them inside of the bowl, sort of like I'm doing here. I like to have my taller items at the back of the basket with my shorter items in front. To complete this basket, I'm adding a can of maple syrup and a little faux Christmas tree to kind of give this one more of a holiday feel. Now let's create a gift basket for a coffee lover. I'm calling this the coffee survival kit just for you. Again, there's a printable label. I'm adding some red colored basket filler because I found the red Starbucks holiday coffee and wanted to make that the theme color of this basket. Adding some coffee syrup I found at HomeSense along with this beautiful dish towel. It was on sale at Anthropology last year and so was the matching cup. I'm adding some faux greenery to this one as well to give it a little bit more interest and then adding some chocolate into the coffee cup to give it that finishing touch. This one is so simple, but I love how it turned out and it would be a great gift for so many different people. You could also make this one into a tea theme as well. Now let's do a sugar cookie and hot cocoa night themed gift basket. I also put a free printable tag on the side of this one. I think this one would be so fantastic for a whole family. Adding some basket filler, adding it in natural color and in red. I made this sugar cookies in a jar. I will leave the recipe in the description box below. You could also just buy a sugar cookie mix as well. And then you can add a rolled up apron and a rolling pin to the back of the basket. 
Next I'm adding some hot chocolate mix, a jar full of mini marshmallows, and I found these mugs at Walmart a couple years ago and I love them, adding them to the front of the gift basket. And I often like to rearrange my gift baskets as I go along and just create a nice pleasing look as I go. These beautiful copper cookie cutters were from HomeSense, which is like home goods in the States. And this one is so fantastic and I love how it turned out. Now let's make a relaxation themed gift basket. I have a free printable label for this one too that says relax and enjoy. I really liked the green and white theme for this gift basket. I rolled up a beautiful cozy white blanket. I'm adding that to the back as well as some hand towels in sort of a holiday theme and some printed slippers. These ones are from Walmart. I'm also adding some hand soap and some wellness spray and also this beautiful holiday scented candle from HomeSense and also some twinkle lights. The finishing touch here is this beautiful bunch of dried lavender and then I also added some cozy socks into the middle of this arrangement. This one would be fantastic for a friend in your life and you could totally customize the items to make it perfect for them. Now we're gonna do a mold wine mix kit. So I made this mold wine mix. It is a combination of dried oranges, dried lemons, dried apples, cinnamon sticks, spices, and sugar. I will leave the recipe for it down in the description box below. I found this wine stopper from HomeSense and this jug was from Real Canadian Superstore. This one also comes with free printable instructions and a tag you can print off. And what I found to work best was I placed my DIY mold wine mix in a really tall bag, found the tall bag at Michael's, placed that in the pitcher, and then I slid the wine inside just like this. So you'll need to make sure if you're doing this one to grab a pitcher that is nice and large. Next, I'm tying the directions to make the mold wine onto the neck of the wine bottle. And then I'm adding this cute little LED wine bottle stopper to the inside of the pitcher, just like this. This gift turned out so beautifully, and if you put this all together in a pot, warm it up, it's an absolutely delicious festive drink to enjoy. You can also swap the wine bottle for some juice instead. Now let's make an ice cream Sunday night gift basket. This one is also family friendly and fantastic for so many people on your list. I'm placing some red tissue paper in a basket, then some ice cream bowls. These ones are waffle cone ice cream bowls, an ice cream scoop, some Sunday syrup, cherries, candies, and some sprinkles. Again, you can customize this to make it perfect for your recipient and just arrange things as you go. This one is super easy and the label itself says just add ice cream so the family that you give it to can add ice cream to it and enjoy a family Sunday night. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below which of these baskets was your absolute favorite. Don't forget to head on over to my blog, thediymommy.com, to get all of your free printable labels and gift tags and everything that you might need to create your own special masterpiece. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm gonna leave some of our videos that I hope you will love watching next right up here.